Hi, it's Lee from Silverback Runner and I just really wanted to talk today about how to start running at 50 plus. I'm personally 57 years old and been running for many years, but I'm finding that some of the people I'm coaching uh, more and more are in that 50 plus age group and some of them have been running for a while, some of them are just starting out on their journey. And the real thing is with running when you're older is not only how do you run as you get older but how do you stay consistent so that you get better results because I know it's not almost connected in a way but I remember near the end of when I was playing football in my late 30s the thing that would slow my progress as a footballer down the most was weirdly playing less when I was older if I was sort of coming on halfway through a game but at the same time I had to control the increased risk obviously of injury and this is something with older runners that you've got to balance up on the one hand yes you know as you get older there is the risk of injury but secondly if you don't use it, and you don't use it consistently, um, if you don't lose it, you definitely, it reduces its effectiveness. So I just want to share three broad strokes, I think, that would really get somebody in their 50s or older beginning running, um, and also being consistent. And some of them are more about what's up here than what's going on physically, but there's some crossover. So let's begin. First of all, why do you want to run? You've really got to have a strong why. This is not something particularly revolutionary, but I see it again and again with runners I coach. If we can't tease out the why, um, when those rough moments come, which they will, um, then you will tend to find that runners can get distracted, disheartened, and less likely to be consistent and the key is consistent here not perfect but the consistency drifts if there isn't a real strong why and it can be things that aren't always particularly obvious i mean a very strong motivation for myself is to be one of the best 70 year 70 year old plus runners in the world now if i actually ever achieve that i don't know but at 57, it's a real driver for me um, on those days that I perhaps don't feel like it. Another re a why for me is to be a strong role model to my future grandchildren. Now, I don't have any grandchildren at the moment, but when and if I do, I want them to see me as a vibrant, energetic grandfather. Um, now, some of that I can control, some of that I can't, but running is a big part of that for me. So they're strong motivators for me, not motivators in the kind of rah, rah, you can do it sense because they're kind of short term. You need something that really resonates with you as a person that will get you out that door on a consistent basis and particularly on days and times that you don't particularly want to. How you do it? Now, this is more the framework. There are plans aplenty out on the internet. If a plan was the, the way that you go forward, then you could just download a plan and off you will go. I often say to the runners I coach that the map isn't the territory. So the plan is a map and a very useful map, but it's a map that changes with you, or at least it does when you're coached, because that's only a beginning point. Um, circumstances can change, you could improve, you may be finding that map difficult to navigate. And when you've got somebody beside you helping you navigate that course then how you do it 
changes with you. Now, this might sound like a big push for coaching. It isn't, it is just to say that how you begin running in your 50s will have a huge impact on the consistency and ultimately the results that you get. So a lot of people I would say that will need some form of support. So all I'm saying is, yes, get the plan, but get some sort of support network in place. It may be a forum, it may be a Facebook group, something that you can find the correct level of support for your running goals so that you've got a tangible way to see how you're going to achieve those goals with the right level of support for you. And then ultimately, what you want. Now you might say, well, you've just mentioned why, Lee, this is the same thing. No, this is more about what you're heading towards. You know, it is connected with the why, but you know, do you have a race in mind? And even if it's not a race, I'm not always been big on races, but I set myself goals, um, running based goals to move towards. It may be a pace based goal, pace based, crikey, that's a hard thing to say. I won't be saying that again. I'm gonna say it again, a pace based goal, or it may be a race, or it may be just how long you'll be able to run for. You may be saying, well, you know, at the beginning, I can only run for 10 minutes. Your goal may be, I want to get to be able to run for 20 minutes. Because what a lot of runners don't realize, they tend to compare themselves a lot to other people. But the reality is that whatever goal you reach, I can almost guarantee you will go and set yourself another one afterwards. So the goal isn't the goal really. Um, not in the end, you get to the mountaintop, you can only either come down or look up to another mountain. You can look at the view for so long, but those two things are going to happen. Either a lot of people who reach their pinnacles come down. This is why a lot of people you look on Facebook groups said, oh, I've just run my first marathon. Why do I feel so down after that first marathon? I felt so great. It's because you're standing at the pinnacle and you're looking, the only thing I can do is go down now. The thing then is if not to go straight into training, but is to then set, it may only be a little mini goal. So really the three things that I would say that will start you running at 50 or restart you running at 50 plus, um, and how to make it more consistent are, find out, really discover why you want to run, or you know, that deep seated reason why you run. How are you gonna do it? You know, not just the plan itself, but the plan and the support network that you've got that's gonna keep you honest, it's gonna be able to adapt to the ups and downs of running and give you some level of encouragement if that's what you need. Some people need that more than others. And then what you want, what are you heading towards in the you know relative short to medium term in the form of goals, be it running, races, or just stepping stones as you go along that move you forward. I think these three things, if you do them, will increase consistency. And if you increase consistency, that will increase satisfaction in your running, it will increase results, and generally it will more than likely reduce the risk of injury if you're being more consistent. I hope this has helped. If it has, then you know please subscribe to the channel or give us a like. That always helps with the YouTube algorithm and it helps a small channel like mine grow. Hope you've found this useful. Bye for now.